Hello guys, welcome back to Direwolf 21.16. How you guys doing? Guys, we got some pretty freaking cool stuff today. I'm not gonna lie. I am super duper excited because Yeah, you know, it might not look a little different, but we have this thing over here called a void portal. Now before we go into there, just want to show you guys the crafting recipe in case you are also playing here. Just some obsidian and emeralds. Very, very cheap. So we're going to go ahead and head into here. And yeah, look at this. It's just literally a void world. So you know what I had to do. I had to go ahead and chunk load it over here. You can see. I had to chunk load it because we are going to be throwing our mob spawner in here today. Yep, that is right. We are going to be putting all these stupid cardboard... Oh gosh. It's raining. We're going to be putting all these stupid cardboard box spawners to good use. I'm actually kind of nervous. Because I have a lot. So we're going to throw these over into our backpack. Backpack, backpack, back. I might get copyrighted for that. I better be careful. All right. So spawners, yes. Spawners, check one. Very good. You can't have a mob spawner without spawners or dark spots. Right? You have to be able to spawn them in. Good. Got that covered. Next is how to kill the mobs once they spawn. We're going to use the mob crushers. As you can see here, we need plastic. Quick industrial foregoing montage. All right, so just a super simple plastic maker here, guys. We have this pretty much automated, other than the collection of the actual plastic. Uh, so I'm trying something out here with these hopper bonnie pots. Now, I know these produce more... Yeah, they give us sticks. But if they give us wood, then that makes us happy. So what we might be able to do is keep this configuration, uh, but maybe have a filter that only spruce logs can go in here. Um, actually, might be, oh, yeah, not good. <laughs> so I think maybe if we had, like, spruce wood in here, it would be okay. But the fact that we don't is bad. Or these might be going here and like that. So might have to change this up a little bit. But this is the design here. Yeah, pretty neat. Uh, just processing this here we'll, we'll get some speed upgrades in here eventually goes right up to a crafter from rf tools uh just crafts up the rubber and then it shoves it up here to get smelted so yeah uh now we need to make the next step here for our mob crushers all right so we should probably be able to make this now nope just kidding we need a dissolution chamber uh, and this requires pink slime which needs a mob slaughter factory Oof. Yeah, we're out of logs, too. Okay, so I need to do a little bit of collecting of some materials here, and then we'll make this dissolution chamber. We're actually going to make it very similar to how we made the other one down there. All right, guys, so in order to get that uh, pink slime, we are going to go... Not place it like that. We need to place this guy. We're going to be removing our player trap here. Um... Yeah, so we need to place this in a way that it kills them. Where? Oh, there you are. Let's see, can I... let me just place this on the torch. Yeah, okay. So we just give this a little bit of power, and then we can pump the fluid into here. Very cool, very cool. So I'm going to go AFK here for a while. Let this guy kill it up. Give us the pink slime. If you guys are wondering how to get the pink slime, it is the mob slaughter factory. And we'll be back in a little bit. All right, guys, so we have the one filled up here uh, with some pink slime. I uh, just got to get some power into it. Just just afk there for a little bit with the, the blazes dying. Uh, so we need to go ahead and make this guy in order to make the mob crusher, which is good and dandy. As you can see, shouldn't be too difficult to make. I do have some netherite scraps. Perfect. Oh, it's this simple machine frame. Oh, darn. So, yeah, we have to go ahead and make up a second one of these. And I did the exact same thing, I messed it up. Okay, so diamond gear now. 
So, yeah, this is what I was telling you about. Uh, how we would mimic this to this guy here. So we're basically going to build a second version of this um, over here. But instead of the latex processing unit, it's going to go into our, our disillusion chamber here. Um, so let me go ahead and, and get this crafted up. Um, yeah, so we're going to have three different spots. This one's obviously going to be the small one. And then we're going to have two that look pretty similar to this. So I'm thinking maybe we put it in a wall or even like under here because it might might look pretty good, out, honestly. Um, so yeah, let me go ahead and, and work on that. And uh, yeah, we'll be back in a, a, a second. Ugh. All right, so super simple setup here. You know, just got the fluid extractors power because when you do power these fluid extractors they do run a little bit faster so let's go ahead and get this uh this far departed um so we need the pity generator we need two of those guys netherite bricks iron and a gold gear not too difficult all right so we got the required materials and yes if you are wondering we can automate this process uh, i need to look into see if it's compatible with applied energistics too but i'm pretty sure it is so, uh, we go boom, boom, you hear, bam, bam, and pow. Yep, as you can see, this is working here. Perfect. All right, so we got our simple machine frame here. We can put him up here. Uh, yep, two plastic, two netherite. Uh, we're going to need to grab some gold and a diamond gear. All right, so we got the materials here, and there we go. Perfect. If you guys are wondering how I got the netherite scrap, I have a builder set up in the nether. And there we go. The advanced machine frame is ours. All right, so slight detour, and we are good to go for the mob crusher here. Bam, mob crusher, good to go. Now, unfortunately, this only does one block in front of it, like you saw for the mob slaughter factory. So we need to work on an upgrade, which is going to require a little bit more toying around um, with that disillusion chamber. So you look up range here. We're just going to go big, and we're going to make the emerald one. Uh, this requires four emeralds. Latex, glass panes, and two redstone. That is not expensive whatsoever. All right, so we've got the range add-on here. Very, very cool. We are going to make one more dimensional cell. I will be switching over to a different wireless power here very shortly, but we're going to keep using this just for a little bit. All right, so let's go ahead and link these up. And let's let's uh, talk about the mob spawner now, because we have the way to, or sorry, not the mob spawner, but the just the area. We have a way to kill the mobs, we have a way to spawn the mobs, but we don't have an area to spawn the mobs. And this is where the dark glass comes from, from Glass Essential. This stuff is super cheap. It takes glass and coal, charcoal, or ditch bulb. I don't know what that is. But this basically replaces dark glass. So I made up uh, like 1700. So we're going to use the dark glass. All right. And then I figured we could just use polished blackstone for the the like the the outside of it and then for the center where the mobs will be hidden we can just use lava stone. Okay. So let's go on over to the world of the void. Perfect. All right, so let's switch out to my backpack here. Um, let's put the dark glass here for now, and then let's get out our guy. Yeah, so... Let's head on out. Okay, so I think that's good. The reason we went out this far is because I wanted to. All right, so we made that a little... Yep, yeah, perfect. 
So this is where the Blackstone is going to start. All right, and then here we're going to need the Polished Lava Stone. So one, two, three, four. Yep, and this is where the spawners are going to be. And then one, two, three, four. Perfect. All right, so this is going to be the area for the spawner here. So just going to... Just gonna fill this in. All right, then we're gonna go around with black stone here. All right, and then we are going to go up kind of a ways with this guy. All right, so we are up 27 blocks here. I'm gonna bring these guys up. And then let's go up to, well, let's go up to 32. Half a stack, you know what I mean? There's no other reason. Let's actually go up one more. Sorry, I went up two more. All right, perfect. And then we'll do the cap here. Um... Yeah, we'll do the cap like that. Cool. So let's switch over to using, well, for one, um, the Enderman will go here, or here, so they don't fall and teleport. And then every two blocks, we'll have a spawner. All right, just like that, and then we can work on, uh, we're gonna do the mob crusher right here with the upgrade here, show the area. Yeah, plenty of room plus a bunch. Okay, so that's gonna be set up there. We are going to set up the power from below. Like so. So this guy's got plenty of power. It's not going to be generating any essence, but using looting. And then we're going to have an ender chest set here where this is going to be pushing all of the items out to. Push. Perfect. All right. So the only thing left is to grab our glass. We're probably going to need to go grab a heck ton more. Um... But this won't let any light in, which is amazing. I am honestly surprised we can place these this far away. Yeah, we're about to run out. And we're out. Perfect. <laughs> I mean, not perfect, but we're out. All right, we got plenty more where that came from. Literally. Uh, yeah. Yep, there we go. Look at that. Light level is... Zero. Perfect. Okay. Check the light level out here. Light level is 15, so nothing can spawn uh, if we bring him out here. Uh, so just going to throw the remaining glass into my backpack. We're going to leave two out. Okay. So now comes the fun part. Okay, so I have the the basic mob items that we're going to be collecting today here. They have a spot to go for when they go into the ender chest. Now, we are going to have some issues with, like, swords and stuff like that. Uh, so we might need to go ahead and get a filter on this eventually. Um, but it shouldn't be too difficult. We just, like, we just move it here and put, a, like, a filter cable or something like that there uh, with, like, a, a list of what we want to do. So uh, all we need to go ahead and do now is find out which spawner is which. And this is the the fun part I was talking to you guys about. Um, so what I'm going to do here is the spawners that we don't want, I'm going to throw back into the ender chest in a cardboard box. So let's go ahead and see who's who is this one. All right, this is a wither skeleton. We're going to be putting that one in. I didn't realize I had that. I don't remember grabbing a wither skeleton. I am very happy. So we're going to be putting the wither skeleton here. Oh, boy. Oh, he's gone. Um, yeah, another problem. I didn't... 
Well, who cares? Cardboard box. Is there a spawner in here? Yep. We got spider. Yeah, we definitely want a spider. So we're going to be going ahead and putting him in. All right, cardboard box. We're going to hover a little bit. Okay, so we'll get out of range of those guys. Yeah, that, that could be a problem, but we, we might be able to, to fix that if they ever decide to come back down. Um, all right, so we got one more spawner here. And we got ourselves a Zombert spawner. No problem. Go ahead, put him in there as well. There we go, perfect. All right, let's throw these spawner, I guess, guys here. Get it out of the way of the spawners, perfect. We don't need a cave spider spawner. Why didn't my magnet grab that, though? Uh, another wither skeleton? Just gonna put that guy here. And then you are the creeper. Perfect. This is one I really wanted. Okay, we don't want to stray. Skeleton, perfect. Mmm, that's a problem. Okay, problem solved. All right, so we got one more guy here. Who are you? Another spider. Um. Yeah, we do need we do need some spiders. Still waiting for that Enderman one though. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I've ran out of power. All right, here's the Enderman one and just a simple skeleton one pair perfect. All right, so the Enderman one is the one that we wanted most of all. And let's get him in here. Perfect. There we go. All right. So that has been cleared out. I did go ahead and mine one block up here to let some light in. Uh, that is currently why this, the rates are a little bit low. So let's go ahead and fix that real quick. All right, so now this thing is completely sealed off. Uh, I am going to go ahead and make a little AFK spot. Yep, unfortunately, there's no way to do this other than AFKing right now. Uh, so I'm just going to see what level we lose the Enderman. So if I go here, yep, Enderman spawning in. Yep, that's every single spawner that we want. So all I gotta do is just sit here for a while and then we gain up a whole bunch of resources. Uh, but the other thing I wasn't expecting was I, I, ooh, I have two other wither skeleton spawners. Um, yeah, that's a little crazy. I was not expecting that. So, yep, as you can see, we've got two wither ribs here. Um... Yeah, we're starting to get some materials. So I need to go AFK for a, a, a good while so that those guys can start dying. Uh, but a speed upgrade would go a long way for this. Um, yeah, one of these guys. So this requires two sugar. Okay. Sugar. All right, the gold gears. Glass panes and the redstone. Okay.
And which one did this use? Latex. Perfect. Don't worry. We'll go ahead and get this one auto-crafted up because this is one that we will need quite a bit. Speed upgrades are amazing, especially in these. So let's make our way back here. We will throw this speed upgrade on this guy, as you can see. All right, so apparently that don't work. Yeah, look, we're getting some, we're even getting diamond gear. I didn't realize that. Uh, spider drops, perfect. Ooh, gas tears are ours. Oh man, this is gonna be really helpful. We also have a good way of getting coal as well, I just realized. All right, perfect. So that's all working now. The AFK spot is here. Yep, so that is going to wrap up the episode for today, guys. If you did enjoy the video, please do make sure to hit that like button. And as always, guys, don't forget to subscribe. Bye, I messed up. Give me a sec. We need to put the speed upgrade in real quick. As you can see, this is the speed we get. And it just goes a little bit quicker here. All right. So that is going to wrap up the episode for today, guys. If you did enjoy the video, please do make sure to hit that like button. And as always, guys, don't forget to subscribe. But guys, this has been Super Turtle, and we made an amazing mob farm that I'm super duper proud of. Um, We might need to put a vacuum hopper in there somewhere to, to collect some of the, the items because they seem to be dying. Anyways, we'll worry about that later. I'll see you all later. Peace out. Take care. Bye-bye.